Leaders and neighbors in St. Pete Beach are meeting for the second time in just days to figure out the future of that beachfront community. This is 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lead. This is what's on the line. Two new hotels that would be built on the Serrata property. Tonight, commissioners could make the final decision after last week's 10-hour marathon meeting where many neighbors spoke out against it. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is live at that meeting, which is just getting underway. And Angelina, what could we expect tonight? Well, Carolina and Dave, we are still waiting to see what the future is going to be holding for this St. Pete Beach Serrata Resort after a vote was postponed at the end of that hours long meeting that you guys just spoke about. With that being said, though, the developer did have an attorney come up and say that they do have a plan B if this doesn't go through. I want you to take a look at the renderings here of what they're looking to bring to the St. Pete Beach area. Now, the hotel management company that is based out of Kentucky, Columbia Sussex, wants to update the hotel in pool of the Serrata Beach Resort, in addition to adding two new hotels with 490 rooms total. After deliberation last week, an attorney representing the developer told commissioners if the plan doesn't get approved, they will move forward with a mixed use development under the Live Local Act that would not require rezoning or hearings with the city commission. Here's what the developer had to say last week. You're going to have to just trust us that we know what we're doing. Okay. But quaint and family friendly. Now we're turning it into huge, massive, character characterless buildings up and down the beach. Now it was definitely a tense meeting for sure. Public comment for that meeting lasted um, just before 11 p.m. lasted all the way until 2:30 in the morning. Among the things that neighbors here in St. Pete Beach are concerned about: traffic safety and the increase of tourism, as well as an impact to the environment. As well, they are concerned that the expansion is basically going to be changing the character of the beachfront here on St. Pete Beach. Now this meeting well underway. It started just now at six o'clock. We're going to be following this throughout the night to see if we're going to get an approval approval of this plan set forth by the developer or if they're going to have to go with plan B. We'll of course bring you the latest tonight at 11 on Nightside. We're live tonight in St. Pete Beach. Angelina Salcedo, 10 Tampa Bay.